Hello, today we're going to show you how to unlock one of your hit cameras that you've just bought um, which is on the new version of firmware. If it's on the 530 firmware you're going to have to log in most likely with the SADP software that you can download off the internet and when you start it it will detect any cameras that you've got plugged in and powered up on your network so what you need to do is highlight the camera and at the minute there we can see that it's inactive <coughs> with the IP address that it's using as a default now what we need to do to enable this and make it enabled is enter a password and you have to do this because the old cameras all used to come with a default password and I'm guessing not enough people changed it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a password and then we're going to enter the password again. And it's always better to end it with a symbol or an icon because the software likes you to have a symbol and a capital letter to make the password a strong password and obviously enter the same password in both boxes and click OK. make sure that they both match. Press OK and you'll get the message to say that the device has now been activated. We can see here now that as security the status of the camera has now been put to active. What we can also do from here is we can set the password that you want the device to actually use and for this one I'm going to change these details as so, just so we can see here that they actually changed because you've got your gateway here and your IP address. I've just chose two new ones so we can see these change. We can change the HTTP port if we needed to here. And what we need to do there now is enter the new password that you just entered and click on save. And we should see from that that the perf modification has been completed and if we look up here now we can see that we've got a new IP address in the camera its security is active and what version, what port it's using and its gateway now if you hadn't activated this camera correctly this would still stay inactive and you wouldn't be able to use it this feature is only really there on the new cameras that I've got version 5.30 we can now add this into your network and on some of the other videos I'll cover on how to get it to record to a NAS or to a DVR. But this one is just to show you how to activate your HIT camera using the SADP software that you can download from the HIT Vision website. Thanks for watching.